Hello all you amazing and wonderful test subjects, welcome back to the channel, I'm Daniel Gaming, and today we're going to be playing Stick It to the Stick Man, Neuralink Facility. But with that being said, we beat it with most of the other characters. Uh, we beat it with the dropout, the student, the conspiracist, the feral child, the PhD, and we are going to be working on the investigative reporter. So I think my favorite so far has been the feral child, because even when you use his regular attack, it helps you, uh, in my opinion, like uh, uh, run away from attacks also. Uh, whereas like, say for example, the PhD who throws the paper planes, um, it kind of leaves you vulnerable to being mobbed on. So if you, you know, get like 10 people surrounding your character, all of a sudden you have no way out other than trying to throw paper planes and hoping for the best. And nine times out of 10, it's not very fun. But with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and play the investigative reporter, who is probably worse. So the reason this guy is worse, first of all, he does this little straw man thing, which is cool when you need a distraction. But as you can see, we're doing this little uh, camera attack and it's terrible. Um, the reason being is, I, I don't know, can I actually attack here? Hold on, <laughs> what's going on here? Um, so the reason being is like the camera flash actually does a pretty cool thing. Uh, let me get out of this little group here. So the camera flash actually distracts them from hitting you. Uh, whereas the uh, throw is kind of like the paper plane. Except for example, the paper plane had a way better chance of hitting your target. If you are off just the slightest amount with this camera attack, you will miss. See, just like that. So it can definitely be uh, difficult, to say the least. Probably one of my least favorite characters to play, but we do have to beat it with him as well as the others. So let's go ahead and see if we can manage to do that today. Uh, we're going to start out with a bunch of javelins. And we'll see if this will get us to where we need to go. I think, in my opinion, uh, you know, javelins are nice, but I think when it comes to single target attacks, I feel like the guns are much better, um, especially if we're going to be attacking, you know, a singular target like a boss or something like that. Like the guns are just like so good. But when it comes to like rooms like this and you're fighting like a whole mob of enemies, I feel like the um, AOE attacks are better and crowd control and stuff like that. So like say for example, when you get the ability to be able to throw people around, um, that's a pretty nice attack. Um, the cool thing about the investigative reporter is that he does get a bunch of re-rolls at the end of every room. So you can go ahead and spam re-rolls whenever you really wanna get a certain attack. So that's always a plus. Uh, but that's about his only benefit, in my opinion. We are already at level 6 Javelin, which is nice. It's very easy to kill some people when you have a bunch of Javelins already. Uh, as I mentioned before, we get a bunch of rolls, so let's get the health when we re-roll. That'll help us out. Let's go for a Mind Attack level 2. We can get the uh, mind attack that blows up and a bunch of javelins. That'd be great. So yeah, as you can see, the single target with the javelins is very nice. Just enough to kill the bigger guys. Um, but we are definitely lacking in the AOE department, so... Hopefully we can avoid some of that uh, negativity and, and just, you know, keep it, keep it moving, but we will see. Let's go mind attack level three. Why not? We're already here. I like how they do post for the picture though. Like that's one of the cool things. But it definitely uh, leaves you open and vulnerable for other attacks. 
and I'm not necessarily a fan of anything that leaves you open to other attacks. So, just one of those things. Preference, probably. I mean, it does make it a little bit more interesting when you're, um, you know, going through the floor, so to speak, or the, the rooms, but definitely not my favorite. What happened there? It looked like my javelins were just like going through the door. So the cool thing is we can probably just keep moving, running around and uh, avoiding his... Oh, there we go. We got the AOE mind attack thing. That's the one that blows up after it does a certain amount of uh, time. Definitely very nice attack. Let's go for exoskeleton. We'll get the... the Ability to uh, ignore some damage. Just took them out, man. Them freaking javelins did some work. So yeah, I think the best ones for single target damage are definitely the javelins and the uh, guns. The you know whether you get the minigun or not is kind of irrelevant. I think the miniguns are definitely the best for single target, as long as you can get the uh, guns to actually hit with every bullet. Um. You know, the javelins aren't that bad either. So as you can see, we just kind of stand there. Javelins do the work for us. They don't even know where they're going half the time. And we have the mine attack now, and the explosion itself is a nice little crowd control. And we can go ahead and get level two right now. Mine as well. But yeah, I definitely do like how they... He just posed in midair. I do like how they do this little pose when you're uh, flashing them with the camera. But the throwing the picture is definitely not that good. It's definitely... I feel like <laughs> the airplane is better. And uh, I wasn't a big fan of that. Stop resisting. <laughs> he just said stop resisting. That's funny. You can eat hospital food, or we can gain XP, or health, through XP. So let's go for the extra health there. Flash that guy. And keep it moving. You flash him just enough to distract him. Right, ladies? <laughs> Alright, so this is one of the tougher rooms. This room likes to uh, literally throw a bunch of people at you, and uh, you get overwhelmed pretty easily. We're, I feel like we're killing them pretty quick, though, so maybe we'll get lucky in that aspect, and we'll kill them quicker than uh, they can actually come after us. But we did also just get the level 3 mind attack, so that could also help us. go <laughs> yeah three guys blowing up all right so we got some re-rolls could go for exoskeleton but I think we're gonna see what else we can get uh, looks like we're going for exoskeleton anyway it's what it gave us at the end is what it is. It was meant to be. Ooh, this room's pretty tough. Only reason I don't really like this room is it has these turrets, and then these snipers come out and try to kill you on top of the turrets. So it's already pretty tough. And then you just kind of got to avoid all the bullets and hopefully take these guys out. go Let's dodge that bullet oh uh, yeah got him I think we're good yep there we go so yeah that's probably one of the toughest rooms in this game in my opinion because you got to sit there and dodge all of the turrets and pretty much everything else <laughs> along the uh along the way there 
It is not an easy one. Uh oh. Well, we might be in trouble. We might be in trouble. We got a decent amount of health, but that was definitely not fun being held there for that long. Let's go for... Uh, let's see, this one's quicker. I like the regeneration time. Let's go for the electric skeleton. And then uh, we'll use some of our rerolls after we get our next level here. We have two rerolls. It'll give us some health back. We did get that perk earlier. But we are also sitting at almost 31 max health, so that's, you know, very nice. Definitely not a bad thing to have, 31 health. We're definitely getting bombarded here with a lot of bigger guys, though, so this is not looking good. We gotta look, make sure this guy can let go of us. Get well integrated. Definitely should increase our health some more. There we go. Let's just keep running, avoiding these guys. There we go. Oh, get out of here. Oh, he got us. <sighs> All right, so that was a little tough. A bunch of bigger guys like to grab onto us. Um, but we made it work. So that's all that matters. Oh, zap him. There you go. Come on. Oh. Oof. Almost got us. Go for a reroll. Another re-roll. Another re-roll. <laughs> oh, man. They don't want us to have nothing. Let's go for a suction here. Uh, we're in trouble. Why oh, are you still floating? There we go. Took him out. Oof. His helmet's still bouncing around. All right, let's go ahead and take care of this guy quick. Got him right on the computer there. <laughs> go for broaden our mind. Definitely want the range bonus. Love that range bonus. And good reason right here. You want to have more range than those guys because not fun to deal with. Run, Forrest. Run. All right. A little uh, rough there with the ranged guy attacking us, but made it work. Uh, let's go with... Go with Force Shove. I have not seen another Javelin, so I think we have Javelin maxed out. Would make sense. I think we got it to about level 7. So I think maybe we're maxed out there with the Javelin. So yeah, certain moves like, you know, the, the guns and stuff have that special perk where you can get like a missile to launch if you get a successful bullet hit. But as you can see with the javelin type deal here, we're just dealing with javelins, so. Definitely seems to be doing really well though, at least for the single target damage. Ooh, we got him. Oh, this is what we want right here. Human projectiles, man. I'm telling you, this move is so fun to use. People just get picked up. 
and thrown at each other. It's amazing. It's probably like one of my favorites. Especially with the extended range and stuff. Uh-oh, we're in trouble here. I say that every time, and then we we have 47 health. <laughs> uh, I think that's the most health I've ever had, 47. Let's go for decreased cooldowns when we gain XP. Simply because we have so much health. I feel like it's a good thing to have. We have the suction for crowd control. We have the projectile humans for more crowd control. Oh, I think we're sitting pretty good. And I think we're going to do... Uh, Take on the boss and have a good time with it. I think we're gonna be sitting pretty, pretty good. Gotta run around, get these guys to get hit with the uh, mind attack, and I think we'll be okay. Oh, oh, he almost got us. Oh, he got us. Just flashed him though. Trying to bombard us. Let's go for uh, four shove level two here. <laughs> the human projectiles right there. That's pretty, pretty amazing. Such a funny animation watching them like get picked up and thrown like a spear, just tele telepathically. You know, it's like. <laughs> like one of my favorite things is watching it. Get him! Get him! So, like I said, best thing about uh, boss fights is like you get single target here, and the javelin is definitely meant for a single target. We just did 10 damage there. Extra four damage there. Four, six, ten. If he didn't get knocked back so much from each hit, we'd definitely be doing a lot more. He only launches like four of them. He gets knocked back and then he tries to uh, get teleported to like his next zone or whatever. All right, so here we are in the darkness phase Let's just keep running oh there's so many Let's go for a reroll here we'll go for a suction level three. <laughs> Ooh, we got them all grouped up right there perfect for this picture just enough to distract them That was pretty cool. <laughs> be kind of cool if they actually like showed you like the picture when you were done. <laughs> like I know he's throwing them at people, but be kind of cool if like later and after the game was over, a match was over. Be like oh look at all these <laughs> pictures you actually took. Oh that's gonna hurt. Yep, we got hit that time. But look at how much health we have. We have 53 health. Like I have no idea how we got that much at all. But we have a boatload of health. All right, we're back to ourselves again. Now we get to finally attack. Uh oh. We survived. Getting pretty low on health. He still has to do 42 to us. <laughs> we have so much health, it's absolutely ridiculous. 
I wonder if it gives us two max health every time we do a reroll instead of just healing us for two health. That would make more sense because we did a boatload of re-rolls. Re uh, re and I think that's actually what happens. We get two to our max health every time we did a reroll. And we did, I want to say, at least 14. So 14 times two is 28. 28 health. So that would make sense. But yeah, we had a boatload of health there, but that is the investigative reporter. Definitely interesting. Probably one of my least favorite in the aspect of his uh, normal attack. I mean, if you're going to go for the extra health points and the rerolls, definitely the best one for getting rerolls. Or if you're looking for uh, special attacks or anything like that, for example, if you just want to level up your guns and get that as high as you can, you have the ability to reroll as much as you want, essentially. Um, so this would be your guy to play. But definitely an interesting one. But with that being said, we beat it with every character. So we will be continuing some more videos along this journey. I'm not going to give anything away, but that is the main character. So with that being said, if you enjoyed watching this video, please leave a like. And if you want to see more content or content like this, subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. But with that being said, thank you for your time. Thank you for watching. And I really hope to see you in the next video. Take care.